Construction work continues at Calcasieu Parish Schools after millions of dollars in damage caused during Hurricane Laura. Jade Moore reports on the progress made and what's left to repair. As we near the three-year mark of Hurricane Laura, construction across several Calcasieu Parish School campuses is evident. 7 News is told about 50% of repairs are completed. So the schools and the staffs and the administration, they've done a, a a really a fantastic job of working with us as far as that's concerned to, so we can get all these repairs done. Chief Financial Officer Wilford Bourne says the district has had about 150 projects, all in various stages from completed to preparing for bids. Sulphur High School and Barb High School are some of the facilities that have the most work to be done. Bourne says they had significant roof damage. At Barb High School we had light standards from the football field that fell into the the, the gymnasiums and flooded them there, uh, causing some roof damage, but also ruined the floors, and so we've got to get those replaced. We're doing a smaller roofing project at Sulphur High right now um, that's uh, on one of the buildings that had no air conditioning, and the, all the air conditioners are on the roof, so we needed to fix the roof and air conditioning all at once. Um, so that one's actually on the way right now. With approximately $400 million in cleanup and reconstruction, Born explains to 7 News about half the cost have been allocated by the federal government. From the state so far of that, we've collected about $188 million. Um, the biggest chunk of that has gone towards the cleanup costs that we had initially uh, right after the storm. Jade Morrow, 7 News. Bourne says they hope to have projects authorized for Sulphur High School to begin in the fall and by the end of the year for Barb High School. With the legislative